guys, stay tuned for today's video. It's a Walmart try-on haul for fall fashion. You're gonna see all the trends, amazing prices, really good quality, all from Walmart in today's video. Hey, this is Dara. Welcome to my channel. My whole goal for this channel is to help you build a wardrobe and a style that you love so you look beautiful and feel confident every single day. So I'm excited about today's video because I had such a great response to my last Walmart try-on haul, which I have to tell you, I kind of did not knowing what to expect and I was pleasantly surprised. So I decided to do another one for fall. I know that often on this channel, I feature items that are out of um, some of your price ranges. So maybe, um, you know, shoes, your clothes or something that are a little bit more premium and I do think that sometimes it's worth it to invest in items that are going to be um, long-lasting timeless pieces that, that you're going to have in your wardrobe for a long time but when it comes to trends trends are one of those places where we absolutely can and in my opinion should find um, great deals because these are pieces that are going to possibly um, not stay in your wardrobe for all that long and if you want just some fun pieces that will will boost, give your wardrobe a boost and kind of help you fall in love with your fall wardrobe all over again without spending a lot of money, then looking at stores like Walmart can be a great strategy. So let me give you my suggestions for shopping at Walmart and other similar stores. The first is to shop online. I do not find anything at my local Walmart. I've heard that from many of you. The selection is abysmal locally and it's messy and loud and there are people buying groceries and shampoo it's just not conducive even to me and i'm a pretty um you know solid shopper like i love shopping i can brave some crazy shopping conditions for a good deal but i it's just not worth it at my walmart none of the stuff is there and i just don't find myself um leaving with anything interesting so that's my first strategy shop online you can shop um like a wide range of brands on Walmart online. You'd be um, you'd be surprised. They have free people. Like they have a lot of um, partner brands that you can shop through the Walmart website that you probably don't even know are there. Um, second, know your brands at Walmart. For example, Time and True tends to be their classic women's wear brand. I find that it's a little bit hit and miss for me. Um, but then there are brands like Scoop and Sofia Vergara and Free Assembly. And now BCBG has a collection for Walmart. Sam and Libby have a collection from Walmart. Sam and Libby takes me back to like my college days. Um, so, you know, they're a Steve Matt has shoes for Walmart right now. So um, there are a lot of brands that you're going to recognize that you're going to feel comfortable with that are going to help make your process of easing into Walmart shopping. If it's new for you, like it is relatively new for me, it'll make it a little bit easier. Third um, is to be a little bit more flexible when it comes to sizing. So there are going to be brands that are gonna run a little oversized, Time and True is gonna be one of those brands. And then there are gonna be brands that are gonna run a little bit more true to size or even run a little bit small, like they're more um, juniors oriented or teen oriented brands. So, you know, know that you can shop online, buy a couple of, order a couple of sizes if you're not sure of your size, and then return in the store. And that's my strategy. That's the secret sauce as far as I'm concerned. I do it at places like TJ Maxx, I do it at Target, I do it at Marshalls, because our stores aren't going to have the full selection unless you live in a you know large metropolitan area. But I wanna shop all this stuff. So buying online and returning locally is a great strategy if, um, if your Walmart, like mine, doesn't have the cute stuff. So let's get into this try-on haul I was very pleasantly surprised and excited about some of the things I scored for fall 2022 from Walmart so the first is this outfit that I'm wearing now this is a time and true top they call it the um, short sleeve flutter smock top it's $14.98 um, it's in this wine and kind of like a purple and black checked pattern um, just for those of you who are gonna ask I'm wearing clove and hallow lip velvet in sangria i used to wear a very similar color from revlon color stay back in the early 90s it was the go-to color i wore all the time i've stayed away from really really dark shades like this in recent years but i thought this was fun and totally went with the fall theme so um cloven hello lip velvet and sangria it's going to be linked below 
Okay, back to the outfit. This is um, the time and true, like I said, women's short sleeve flutter smock top. In all of these items, I ordered whatever the smallest size was. So sometimes it's a zero, sometimes it's a two, sometimes it's an extra small. I'll put all my sizes in the blog post that's linked in um, the description box of this video. And I'm also going to link the catalog with all the items in it to make shopping easy for you. So that is, um, that is the top, $14.98. Now the pants, these are such a pleasant surprise. These are the, a junior's brand called No Boundaries. It's their junior's faux leather pants. They are $19.98. $19.98 for these pants. Now this top has the smocking detail on the front, a little bit of a flutter sleeve, and um, it's just a pretty kind of loose, flowy style. It is longer. It hits me when, when it's untucked. It hits me around my hip area. Keep in mind, I am five two and a half, and I have a shorter torso, so it's going to be longer on me than it's going to be on many of you. These pants, um, I have about a 28-inch inseam. These are the perfect length. They're actually, they barely touch the floor when I'm barefoot with heels. They're the perfect length for me. Um, and like I said, I ordered these in whatever the small size was. I believe for junior sizes, this was a, a size one. So um, when you first take these pants out of the package, just so you know, there's going to be that strong kind of off-gassing smell or whatever, that faux leather. They're super comfortable though. Absolutely love them. They have pockets in the back, faux pockets in the front. They're very smooth. They're cut a little bit roomier through the leg. And um, they're really, really comfortable, really stretchy. So the No Boundaries Juniors faux leather pants. Okay, let's look at the second outfit. Now, I, I definitely had a moment with this with this um, plaid this season because I just thought plaid was so much fun. This is also, I believe, from Time and True. Yes, this is their... Um, Actually, this maybe isn't, oh yeah, the Time and True Women's Keyhole Blouse. This is $10 for this blouse. It's rare that I find a color plaid that I like, but I really liked this color plaid. It's a nice, silky, lightweight material, similar to the one that I'm wearing in this, this material. It's just lightweight, it's silky, it's flowy, it's breezy. Um, $10, you cannot beat that. It does have a little keyhole opening in the front. I'm wearing it with my Mountain Bow um, Slim Boyfriend jeans, my favorite jeans, and I'm wearing it with my Target um, mules. So all of these items are going to be linked below, but absolutely love that top. Again, this is a little bit of a longer top on me. It does have like stretchy, like a stretchy cuff so you can pull it up easily. It's just a really comfortable, easy and fall friendly top. $10. You cannot beat that. Okay, next outfit. You know that I went nuts when I saw an all pink Oh, like all these pink pieces and it's hot pink. So I did not even check the inseam length on these pants and these jeans. I was just like, these are pink jeans. They have, like I have, I have to order these. They're hot pink jeans. Like how can I not order these hot pink kind of white leg jeans? And so they are the Free Assembly Women's High Rise 70s full wide leg straight jeans. Now I will pop up a picture of me trying on the jeans and being kind of just uh, holding them up and being kind of dejected because I thought they were going to be really long. But actually after I put them on and I wore them, I'm wearing them with the same Target mules in this picture. After I put on a shoe with a little bit of a heel, they were an okay length. Um, let me know what you think of these pieces, which you think I held on to, which you think I should keep, which you think I should let go of. I'd love to hear your feedback on all of these, on how they fit me, how they look, all of that in the description box. I will tell you these are in the description box. Sorry, in the comments. Let me know how you feel about these pieces in the comments. These are a nice thicker cotton um, uh, denim material. They are really, really comfortable. I felt like um, they felt like really, really good quality. Um, again, I loved the color. I'm wearing them with my Martin Bow uh, Marcy T. It's just their basic V-neck T. And I'm wearing this cardigan that is also from Walmart. This cardigan is the um, let me see if I can find it. The Free Assembly Women's Mixed Stitch V-neck cardigan sweater. Also in hot pink. You know I couldn't resist pairing these. I probably would style this a little bit differently if I was wearing it out and about, but I could not resist um, pairing this hot pink cardigan and the hot pink pants. I mean, I just kind of felt like they were just so me. I was just having a moment. I was really feeling the Barbie cord trend in this outfit even though it's kind of a lighter pink, but I just love, love, love that color. So this is a nice, thick, um, like cable stitch mixed 
um, mixed stitch cardigan. Um, it's a nice length. Um, I, I just, I really thought it was really nice. It's a nice soft, it feels kind of like a cotton cardigan. It's a nice soft knit. And I was kind of really surprised by how thick and um, comfortable that cardigan is. So pink cardigan for, um, that is $28. And the pants were $34. So $34 for those pink jeans, $28 for the cardigan. I, I just, I loved that look. Okay, this next piece, you know I had to try this moto jacket. I have a problem with red leather. You know red is one of my colors. I wear it all the time. It's red, pink, and wine for me. Those are my three colors besides black and white that are that comprise 95% of my wardrobe. However, I have not traditionally loved red leather. I don't know why. I just don't love red leather. I love red suede. I love dark red leather, but I don't like like primary red leather very often. Um, but this is a great moto jacket. I you know, I it's $45. It's a great price for a moto jacket. I am on the fence because I just don't know if I can wrap my brain around a red leather moto jacket. You know, I have a hot pink leather moto jacket. I have no problem with that. But something about the red leather. Let me know what you think. Do you agree with me in the comments? Um, maybe just just makes me think 80s and I lived in the 80s. I don't know what it is. But anyway, this is a, a, a really nice quality faux leather moto jacket for $45. It is a little bit longer on me. Again, I'm short. I've got a shorter torso. So it hits me a little bit at the, like, at the hip area. It's not like a waist length uh, moto jacket for me, but it's really nice. It's got all the moto jacket bells and whistles. It fits really well. It does have um, zippers, zipper details. It has zippers at the sleeve. You can bunch it up and, you know, bunch up the sleeves and roll them up a little bit easier. Um, because of that, it, it, I just find it to be a really nice moto jacket that checks all the bells and whistles. Does it look really premium and really high end? No, but it is definitely a fun kind of statement piece or accent piece for your wardrobe. Okay, so that is the Scoop Women's Faux Leather Moto Jacket. It's $45. Let's go on to um, the next outfit. This is a sweater dress. This is the Free Assembly Sleeveless Mock Neck Diagonal Seam Midi Sweater Dress for $34. I loved the red plaid pattern on this. Like I said, I have a hard time sometimes finding plaids and colors I love. Love, love, love the pattern. Um, I found this length and the cut in the front, the asymmetrical cut, less than flattering on me as a petite. And there was literally nothing I could do to not have tummy bulge in this dress. I mean, I don't know what it was. It was just like it circled my tummy. If you have more shape in your lower half of your body, like you've got a little bit more in the hip area and less in the belly area, and if you're a little bit taller, I think this is such a great dress. The knit is really nice and comfortable and beautiful. It's a sleeveless style. I thought it was super, super cute. I mean, I could could sp double spanks in this dress. I wasn't wearing any shapewear underneath this. It definitely needs shapewear. Um, so don't come for me in the comments and say, oh, your tummy, I know my tummy is, is, is showing in this, but um, I just, I, I do love this dress. I just feel like it would be more flattering on someone else. But this dress is $34, if I didn't say that already. And I think it's super, super cute. I'm wearing it with my Johnny Beanie boots that I bought last year. I will link a similar pair below because I've had some questions about that. Okay, I'm kind of loving this next look. It is giving me all the fall feelings, all the fall vibes with this look. This is the Free Assembly Women's Crop Kick Flare Trousers. Clearly less than cropped on me. As a petite, they are $32. They are, I love this blue and black plaid. It comes in another plaid as well that's kind of more gray-based, but I have a gray-based plaid pant already. So I tried this blue and black plaid. I really liked that, um, that pattern. Um, I like the shape of these. I feel like they're so much fun. They're great pant for work, but you can also dress them down on weekends. You can wear them with a t-shirt and, and trainers like sneakers. I mean, they're just a fun and comfortable and versatile pair of pants for $32. I really like them. Like I like pieces like this that you can dress up, you can dress down. I can see myself styling this many different ways um, throughout the season. Um, I am wearing it with the Time and True Women's Waffle Pullover Top. This top is $13.98. It's in this rust color. This kind of, I don't know, 
caramelly rust brown color not a color I typically reach for I wanted to try it this season kind of see what it looked like you can tell this is a longer top it's it's more like a tunic so if you wanted it's really cozy it's really soft it'd be great to wear with leggings or faux leather leggings if you wanted a casual look like that um, I wore it tucked into these pants you could of course wear it out um, you can style it a number of different ways but um, it's a really nice soft it kind of kind of feels like a little bit of a free people free people does those waffle henley tops every season and it kind of reminds me a little bit of that a little bit less detail of course but again it's 13.98 and not 80 or 90 dollars so keep that in mind but i loved it i love this combination i thought this was fun it's it's just such a, a fall look right like all the fall stuff in one outfit okay um that is it. I think I covered all of my, making sure I didn't miss anything. Yep, I covered all of my fall pieces. Oh, last thing. The I knew I was forgetting something. These um, scoop platform sandals. Okay, so I, I mentioned these in my video about, um, about fall trends and how I used to have a pair that was like 1940s inspired uh, platforms, sandals, black, faux suede or suede platform sandals. I love, love, love. I'm, I'm eyeing a pair from, for, uh, from Shoots that's three times the price of these. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to try these. These are the Scoop um, women's platform heeled sandals. They're $40. Um, the Shoots pair are like $120. There's a you know, uh, high, they go up from there, right? There are like a million different versions, including some really premium designer versions. But I really wanted to try this that's, you know, $40. I'm like, you can't beat that. I'm just going to try and see what I think about this um, platform sandal. I like them. I did not love them. So here you can see me. I'm wearing the flutter sleeve top that I'm wearing here with, with the, my Mott and Bow jeans, and I'm wearing those sandals. They just didn't fit me perfectly, and I didn't find them super, super comfortable. That said, I do kind of have longer longer feet and so I feel like if you have you know smaller feet or your toes are a little bit shorter than mine these could be perfect for you I just felt like they weren't super super comfortable for me um, not that I'm expecting the platform heeled sandals to be ultra comfortable anyway but I just didn't feel like they fit me very well I guess that's what I'm saying um, I also like it when there is a bigger um, piece at the end the front of the, the shoe like I wanted an, an additional strap there it's just that one single small strap I would have liked like a double strap or something a little bit more de detailed at the front of the shoe but I really did like them they are a great um like very reasonable take on the platform heeled black sandal trend that is so big for fall forty dollars you cannot beat that it is absolutely worth trying them and ordering them from Walmart and seeing that they work for you and again if not you can return them to the store and that's the beauty of this. So I'd love to know what you think of the pieces that I tried, the pieces that I chose. These were all pieces for my wardrobe that I found resonated with my personal style, but there's a, a vast selection. And I'll tell you, Scoop had no, almost none of their clothes available yet when I started ordering these pieces in mid-August. So there's going to be a lot more coming in in the next month or two from Scoop, from BCBG, from Free Assembly, from time and true from um from all of the different from Sofia Vergara from all of the different Walmart brands so you're going to be able to find a, a, a greater selection as the season progresses let me know what you think have you shopped at Walmart successfully um what do you think of the pieces I tried on uh which would you consider in your wardrobe don't forget everything is linked below I always do a catalog for every video and I do a blog post for every video where I will share my sizes and and give you a little bit more detail about each of these individual items so love you guys always love hearing from you so so don't forget to comment below. Tell me what you think of all of these pieces. And don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and the subscribe button. Join us here. We have the best community on YouTube. I will see you in the next one.